Good morning, everybody. I am your friendly neighborhood campus minister here to give you your daily Bible reading for today. And our daily Bible readings for today, Friday, April 22nd, is 1 Samuel 17 through 19, Psalm 150, and Acts 5, 17 through 26. And... I was requested to dig into the first Samuel verse, so that's what we're going to do today. David's brother, brothers were Saul and the Israelites' army at the Valley of Elah, fighting against the Philistines. So David left the sheep with other shepherds and set out early the next morning with the gifts. As Jesse had directed him, he arrived at the camp just as the Israelite army was leaving for the battlefield with shouts and cries. Soon the Israelites and Philistines stood against each other, army against army. David left his things with the keeper of supplies and hurried to the ranks to greet his brother. He was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistines, as he was talking with them, Goliath, the Philistines' champion from Gath, came out from the Philistine ranks. Then David heard him shout his usual taunts to the army. As soon as the Israelites saw him, they began to run away in fright. Have you seen the giant? The men asked. He comes to, he comes out each day to defy Israel. The king was offered a huge reward to anyone who kills him. He will give them that man one of his daughters for a wife, and that man's entire family will be exempted from paying taxes. David asked the soldiers standing nearby, what will a man get for killing his Philistine and ending his defiance of Israel. Who is this pagan Philistine anyway that is allowing him to defy the armies of the living God? And these men gave David the same reply. They said, yes, that is the reward for killing him. But when David, his old, when David's oldest brother, Elab, heard David talking to the men, he was angry. What are you doing here anyway, he demanded. What are these... What about those few sheep you're supposed to be taking care of? I know about your pride and uh, defiance. You just want to see the battle. What am I to do now? David replied. I was only asking a question. He walked over here to some other and asked them the same thing and received the same answer. Then David's question was reported to King Saul, and the king sent for him. Don't worry about this Philistine, David told Saul. I'll go fight him. Uh... I can fight crime in this mask all day long, but I cannot read in this mask. So I apologize for any way I just stuttered across everything. So, um, let's dig into this. So instead of a full-out war between the Philistines and the Israelites, the Philistines' champion, which was Goliath, challenged the Israel army to send one person out who will battle against him one-on-one, -on -one, and whoever wins the one-on-one -on -one battle is it's a win-all-take-all -all kind of thing, you know? So the Israel army was pretty terrified. Goliath was a big man. Uh, I would be probably terrified of Goliath, too, and I have superpowers. So, um, but they didn't want to battle, and they were certainly scared to fight one-on-one -on -one against Goliath because they didn't want to get crushed. So a young David who at the time was not involved in the war, but was sent by his father, Jesse, to deliver food to his three brothers who were in the military of Israel. But when the young David got to them, Goliath got up and spoke again in the audience of all the Israels. And at this time, David heard his word. Goliath was essentially smack-talking him. And David was just like, who is this? <laughs> I don't even know you. Why are you smack-talking me? So David became pretty upset with Goliath, uh, which was... Um, he would speak against, he was upset that uh, Goliath was speaking against the Lord and against God's people in such a savage manner and all this trash talking. But the young David was ready to challenge the Philistines' champion. He was mad. He was ready to go to war. So, uh, but King Saul didn't deny David to fight this guy. He didn't want him to fight. He didn't want him to get killed. But David continued to tell Saul his credentials that once he fought and defeated a bear and also defeated a lion and Goliath would do be nothing against him, especially with God being with him. So Saul was like, you know what? If you want to get yourself killed, you be my guest. Let's get in there. And uh, that's essentially what's happening in the story uh, so far. And at the very end of the verse, it talk, and it's going to go into a little bit um, over these next few days about the actual battle between David and Goliath. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and um, 
just remember that with great power comes great responsibility. And uh, do smart things over this next week with your finals. I hope you all have a great end of your semester, and I will see you all later. Peace.